the Nebula Mars or the Nebula Capsule. If you are planning on buying a portable projector but don't know which one to buy, let me tell you which one is the best one. The Nebula Mars can deliver about 3000 lumen of brightness, roughly translated to 500 ANSI lumens, 800p resolution and has two dual 10 watt speakers and also a 3D cutting edge display technology. Compared to the Nebula Capsule, this can output about 100 ANSI lumens of brightness, comes with a 480p of resolution and also a 5 watt 360 degrees of audio. The Mars, 4 pounds. The capsule, 1 pounds. This one can project an image of 40 to 300 inches. This one can project 20 to 100 inches. The Mars display technology is 0.45 inch. Compared to the capsule, 0.2 inch FWVGA DLP display technology. The contrast ratio for the Mars, 1000 to 1. Contrast ratio for the capsule, 400 to 1. The Nebula Mars have a battery pack of 19,500 milliamps, roughly plays about 3 hours of battery life. The Nebula capsule, 5200 milliamps of battery power, can roughly plays about 4 hours of video playtime. Now with the capsule, you can extend the video playtime if you have an extra ex external battery pack. And you can also turn this into a portable Bluetooth speaker. The Nebula Mars comes with Android 4.4 KitKat. The Nebula capsule comes with Android 7.1 Nugget. So having the latest Android operating system can allow you to install the latest apps. And that's a big plus. Now controlling the on-screen menu with the Nebula Mars is kind of difficult. So I recommend you get an external keyboard and mouse device. But with the Nebula capsule, it is a little easier because it has a built-in mouse feature here. And also you can remotely control your Nebula Capsule on-screen menu using your smartphone. Now that's a big plus. I noticed that connecting your Nebula Mars to an external Bluetooth device, I noticed that there is a big audio delay. I hope they release a firmware soon to resolve this issue. But with the Nebula Capsule, it syncs and sounds perfectly fine with the external Bluetooth speaker. So that's a big plus. I noticed that both projectors, if you try to install Android games from the App Store, you will have a tremendous delay or lag using either a wired controller or a Bluetooth controller. So both projectors are not designed to play Android games. It is basically designed to stream and watch movies instead of playing Android games. Both projectors works really well using the HDMI connections. I don't notice any lags or any issues at all. So watching movies on a DVD player or a video game console or the Amazon Fire Sticks, I didn't notice any issue or problems. The Nebula Capsule, I like to take this out on the road with me, go to work or go to the park. Anywhere that's portable because I can be able to put this in my pocket. And the, what I like about the Nebula Capsule, it has a 5 watt portable speaker that you can use with your smartphone. This one, it's almost the same thing, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier. But this one has a very great cinematic movie experience with the uh, 800p resolution and uh, 3000 lumens of brightness. Now that's very awesome. But with the Nebula Mars, I like to keep this at home and watch movies with it. Right now, you can get the Nebula Mars at the Amazon website for $5.99 and the Nebula Capsule for $3.49. They're both very expensive, but these are the best portable projector that I've seen so far. The Nebula Mars or the Nebula Capsule? So which one's the best? Well, in terms of picture quality and resolution, you cannot beat the Nebula Mars. In terms of portability, you cannot beat the Nebula Capsule. In terms of playtime, I think the Capsule wins because you can extend the playtime using an external battery pack. In terms of controlling, you can't beat the Nebula Capsule. Alright, let's turn on both portal projector and let's see what the difference between this picture quality and this picture brightness. We can stop this curse. But to end this evil, I need to go deeper into the further. If we can find 
out what it is. We can stop this curse. But to end this evil, I need to go deeper into the further. Well, Johnny, the difference. Can I get did not see that coming. The ocean is a friend of mine. First, we've got to go through a whole ocean of bad. So in my opinion, these two portable projectors is very outstanding for its portability, outstanding picture quality, and their outstanding surround sound. Alright, I hope this video helps you determine which portable projector that you want to buy. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.